My name is Katrina Radke, and this is part three of my interview with Nelson Diebel. He shares his story of what he actually experienced moment to moment when he won Olympic gold. Okay, in act three here. Okay. You're now at the finals, getting ready to swim for the 100 meter breaststroke. You're at the Olympic Games. Yep. And you are walking out. Yep. Share your experience in the present tense, what it was like. In the present tense, okay, I'm walking out and I say to myself, there are 50 million Americans watching me. If I screw this one up, everyone will know. <laughs> and I loved it. The more pressure I could put on myself, the more, the more pressure I can think about, the happier I am. So I'm sitting there going, my mom will see it from the stands and she spent all this money to come over here and my dad will see it from the stands and he spent all this money and my sister, you know, everybody's taking vacation and all my friends at home and, you know, my girlfriend at home and, and everybody's watching and everybody will know. So I like that idea of having more and more and more pressure put on me. Um, so when so it wasn't enough action. by walking out in front of 30,000 people at the Olympic Games for a final, I, I sort of heat more on myself. Great. So then you're in the water. Yes. And did you have any thoughts in the water? Or were you in a, in a zone and just loving letting the water carry you? Or what was it like for you in that race? It was... It, it, it went exactly like I expected it to. Um, did you, I did, did I did you a visualize? lot of research. Uh, I wasn't a visualizer, mm -hmm. but I did a lot of research about my, my competitors. So I knew that the guy who was on the, the in the lane to my left was going to go out really, really fast, and that I was going to be probably at his waist or behind at the end of the 50, and that was okay mm -hmm. because he was also going to die horribly, <laughs> and I could reel him in at the end. Um, I knew the, what the, the guy on the, on the right hand side of me swam like, he swam much, a much more similar race to me, so if I was in front of him at the 50, I pretty much had him taken. Um, the biggest thing about it was in, in 2000, uh, one, or in, uh, in uh, 1991, a year before this race, I actually had gone down to Cuba for the Pan American Games. And I had gotten crushed like a bug by somebody who had no business doing that. I mean, I swam a horrible race, and he wasn't nearly as good as I was, and I just got destroyed. I, it, was, it was a terrible, terrible thing. And all I was thinking about the last 10 meters, and the biggest problem was he took me under the flags. He took me at the end of the, I didn't get, I never got taken at the end. I was proud of the fact that I never got taken at the end of the race. And this 15-year-old kid nobody had ever heard of just blew my doors off. In the last 10 meters of my 100 breasts, one year later at the Olympics, all I was thinking was, not gonna happen again, not gonna happen again, not gonna happen again. Um, and because breaststroke, the, the, the hard part about breaststroke is that if you're doing it right, you're not looking. All breaststrokers, listen to me, you are not looking around, so you can't tell whether you're winning or not. You don't know until you touch the wall and turn around. So you turn around and you look at the clock. I turn around and look at the clock, in my head, it happened like this. I turned the, touched the wall, turned around. They instantly shifted it to finish order instead of lane order. So oh. I turn around and look, and I'm looking for number three because I was in lane three. And I look at three, and, and, and the number didn't match up, and that definitely wasn't my name. And I was trying to figure out what exactly was going on. And, and so I had to search for my name. So then I searched for my name on the list, and I saw it, and I, I looked like I'd won. And I sort of was like, I think that I won. And then I sort of double checked, and then I actually did win, so then I started throwing puppers and yelling and screaming and cheering. That's what it felt like to me. I've seen video, it goes boom, boom, boom. <laughs> like, it's like one of those accidents where, where everything slows down yes. and everything. Yeah, so it, it was, it was in my mind, it was this long drawn out process where I looked like a complete fool trying to figure out whether I should be unbelievably excited or unbelievably disappointed. Yeah, so and, you had this amazing um, and race. And the whole thing went like that. Yeah, and it was just great to be able to see you have that moment. It was it was a lot of fun. It was definitely a great summer. I mean, one of my better ones. Thank you, Nelson. 1992 gold medals in the 100-meter breaststroke. Thank you. See you next time.